Welcome. We are pleased you are watching High Security's SwingSmart DC installation video. SwingSmart DC is a price competitive, ultra reliable, residential and commercial pad mounted swing gate operator. This 15 minute video demonstrates how easy it is to install SwingSmart DC, plus it highlights several unique features such as uninterrupted DC power supply, patented taper clamp design, and automatic master-slave gate synchronization. Remove bottom staples from shipping boards and lift cardboard box. Unscrew the knob and lift the top cap off the covers. Unfasten the latches. Pull away the front cover and set it aside. The rear cover is secured to the chassis with two Phillips head screws and two wing nuts. Remove all four fasteners. Set the rear cover aside and then replace the screws and wing nuts for safekeeping. Remove the ship with kit and unscrew the lag bolts securing the chassis to the shipping boards. The Swing Smart operator weighs about 135 pounds. Handles are strategically placed on each side of the chassis so you and your assistant can easily lift and position the operator on the concrete pad. Consult the manual for safety and installation considerations. Use a tape measure to confirm the accurate placement of the operator on the concrete pad. Mark the hole locations for anchors, and then lift the operator off the pad so you can hammer drill the four mounting holes. High Security recommends one half inch UNC anchor bolts three and a half inches long to secure the operator to the pad. In this retrofit installation, automated gates and equipment built a base riser that sets the linkage arm at the same height as the gate crossbar. The ship width kit contains the Swing Smart installation manual. Consult the manual for site prep tips, ideal arm geometries, smart DC configuration, accessory connections, and safety considerations. Remove the warning labels and place them on both sides of the gate to comply with UL325 standards. When the operator is properly secured, it is time to attach the arm assembly. Unpack the gate arm assembly and slide the stub arm out of the short tube. Attach the stub arm to the taper clamp with the fasteners provided. Secure using a socket head or Allen wrench. Stepping away from the installation, we'd like to take a moment to describe the patented taper clamp. This unique design lets you set the breakaway torque in the event of a gate strike. Turning the taper handle clockwise applies pressure to the coned interface. Counterclockwise releases the pressure, allowing the arm to swing freely. Be sure the black fin extending from the limit plate aligns with the slot in the aluminum block. This assures the limits track the arm position. Returning to the installation steps, extend the taper handle and turn counterclockwise to loosen the taper clamp. Spin the stub arm so it faces the gate. Clamp the bracket to the gate, making sure it is level and aligns with the crossbar. If a horizontal cross member does not exist on the gate, install one. Slide the short tube onto the stub arm. Tighten the adjustment screw to temporarily hold the arm position. Attach swivel eye bolt to gate bracket. Secure it with the fasteners provided. The swivel eye bolt allows for incremental adjustment and misalignment of the arm assembly relative to the gate. Consult charts in the manual for proper dimensions of arm lengths relative to the operator's location.
the linkage arms should be straight or with a slight bend when the gate is closed. When the gate is fully open, the arm should be at 90 degrees with the gate. Use tape measure to verify arm lengths and position of the gate bracket. You can fine tune the arm lengths by using the adjustment screws. The screws apply pressure to the inner tube and the connection is strong enough to hold the arms in place. This lets you swing the gate and verify open and closed positions prior to welding. Check the horizontal aspect of the gate arm. Adjust the gate bracket position until the arm is level. The pivot bolt must run parallel with the vertical axis of the operator. Adjust the clocking of the arm tubes until the pivot is vertical. The ship width kit also includes the elbow joint covers. Align the elbow joint covers with the linkage arms and secure them using the fasteners provided. If the gap between covers is not even, re-verify horizontal and vertical aspects of the arm assembly. With the arm assembly and elbow covers in place, it is time to set the close and open limit switches. With the gate closed, set the limit cam to trip the limit switch in the gate closed position. Manually open the gate to set the other limit cam to trip the open limit switch. After manually testing that both the close and open limit switches trip, Secure the gate bracket and arm positions by welding an eighth inch fillet. An alternative to welding is to drill holes through the long and short linkage arms and secure them with the fasteners provided. Remove the two Phillips head screws and wing nuts stored on the chassis. Place the rear cover over the bottom plate studs and align with the screw holes on top. Resecure the rear cover with its fasteners. Make sure the DC power switch is in the off position and then connect the battery wire to its spade terminal. Turn the DC power on. When you apply power to SwingSmart for the first time, the display prompts you to program the usage class, followed by gate handing, gate weight, and gate length settings. The select, next, and previous buttons are used to select options and navigate through the display settings. When the usage class appears on the display, press select. The characters blink and indicate that changes to the usage class setting can now be made. Press the next button to scroll through usage class settings one through four. When the desired setting appears, press select to accept the value. The UL usage class is now programmed. Press next to scroll to the gate handing setting. Follow the same easy steps for the remaining three gate settings. Set the gate weight. Set the gate length. When the setup is complete, a gate status of open, close, or stop appears. No AC power flashes until AC power is connected. SwingSmart DC is factory set to 115 volts AC. If your source power is 208, 230, you must switch the voltage selector on the power board. A junction box provides the input power and convenience outlet wires. Use wire nuts to make the electrical connections. Always follow local electrical codes when running AC power. To set the earth ground, drive a solid copper 5 8 inch diameter 10 foot long rod into the ground beside the operator. 
The ground rod must be wired to the chassis using a single length of unspliced 6 gauge copper wire that is less than 3 feet long. Check with your local jurisdictions for additional requirements. All grounding must be completed in accordance with the National Electrical Code and NFPA regulations. The taper clamp is designed to break free when a gate strike occurs, but not slip during normal operations. For safety, turn the DC power switch off to disconnect the motor. Loosen the taper clamp and manually swing the gate halfway between open and closed positions. Extend the taper handle and turn it clockwise until the gate does not slip when pushed hard. Continue to incrementally tighten the taper clamp so that it only breaks free with a really strong push that simulates a gate strike. Note that a large amount of torque is not required to obtain a tight clamp setting. If you have a dual gate installation, connect a shielded communications cable to the dual gate inputs in each operator. You must decide which operator is the master and which is the slave. Then you need to access the installer menu in both operators and set the dual gate function. Let's set the master operator first. To access the installer menu, press the menu button twice. This takes you directly to the close timer display. Press the open and reset buttons at the same time. Release the buttons and the usage class display appears which indicates you are now in the installer menu. Press next to scroll through the programmable items until the dual gate display appears. Use the select and next buttons to change the setting to master. Press select to accept the displayed setting. Press menu to exit the installer menu. To complete the master slave communication, repeat these steps with the other operator and set its dual gate function to slave. The Swing Smart Gate Operator provides multiple capabilities through its user and installer menus. You've seen how to access the installer menu through the master slave setup. Now learn how to access the user menu by setting the close timer. Press the menu button in the master operator. Information such as the software version, the battery voltage, and the cycle count will flash on the display. When the close timer display appears, you have now gained access to the user menu. It is as simple as that. Consult the manual to learn about the 12 basic functions in the user menu. To set the close timer within a range of 1 to 99 seconds, use the select and next buttons as you have done with previous menu selections. Press the menu button to exit, which returns you to the run mode. In summary, press the menu button once to access the user menu. To access the installer menu, press and hold the open and reset buttons while the close timer is displayed. Connecting peripherals such as access controls, photo eyes, and loop detectors are not covered in this video. Please consult the manual for more information. Turn both AC and DC power switches on to run the gate. SwingSmart DC has the unique ability to synchronize the opening and closing of dual gates regardless of arm geometry or swing arc. It takes approximately five cycles for the master and slave to perfectly synchronize the gates. Thank you for viewing High Security's SwingSmart DC installation video. We hope you'll agree with other installers who claim SwingSmart DC is the quickest and easiest swing gate operator they have ever installed. High Security continues to develop its family of high quality, ultra reliable, electromechanical gate operators. Look for the exciting new SlideSmart DC in spring of 2010. For more information about High Security and its diverse line of gate operators, please visit www dot high security dot com or call high security at one eight hundred three two one ninety nine forty seven.